Okay, two things demonstrating here. One is a light organ that can uh, modulate a bank of LEDs to music. And that bank of LEDs can be large. This one's 24 watts of LEDs in a strip. You can probably crank it up to 50 watts with the power transistor in this circuit. And uh, what we'll also be demonstrating is a uh, sound card based oscilloscope called the Zell Scope. That's for free. It turns your sound card into an, an oscilloscope with a bandwidth in the audio spectrum, which is all you need for such a thing. Pretty nifty little device. Here's the Zell Scope. And that's the eval version. Lasts for 14 days. I think you can get a free version that lasts forever somewhere in there. But it's got all the usual <clears throat> routine stuff. Uh, so uh, the input, this, we'll do the zelloscope first. So I've got uh, the line card basically running to a cable and then uh, bringing it out to some wires and then uh, basically goes into this. Uh, what I got is a front end voltage divider here. I'm using the pot, as you can see, the blue pot. Uh, using like a uh, 100k pot on here and right now I got adjusted for dividing it by 10 times because my circuit's running at 12 volts so you need to bring things in within a volt and to set the input on the, uh, the Zell scope hit control panel go over to hardware and sound go over to manage audio devices a little bit involved go up to go into the recording section and then you can see here I've selected line in and uh, yeah so you basically select that boom and you hit set default it already is so that's the way it is okay so that's what you set and then you're ready to go and that's basically the Zell scope uh, yeah a lot of the default it's got two channels Obviously, you can use left and right, and then uh, a triggering mechanism, which I've already set up. You can figure that out in the FAQ. So, back to this thing here, which is the, the sound system here. Obviously, got uh, coming on the input. I buffer it, uh, give me uh, boost it up by uh, 50 times, and with a uh, pot at the input to adjust volume, then I turn it into uh, an integrator, and then uh, basically a switching circuit. Uh, the last transistor there, the 3039, that's the power transistor, is rated at like 50 watts. Right now I'm pushing at about 25. With that heat sink, just gets a little bit warm, no problem. And then the 3904 drives the 3039. I had put another 3904 in front of uh, the driver, uh, basically just as an inverter, because it causes the first one caused inversion, so I had to invert it again to get uh, uh, the modulating to the right signal because it's a plus drive. Okay, so. That's basically it. So I'll give it a little demo here. Okay. So we'll start up the zoscope by hitting play. It's a little bit odd. And this is basically the output of the uh, the amplifier, which I also have it uh, effectively causing some uh, a certain amount of rectification, and then it's driven into the integrator. Uh, if you see the circuit, uh, the, the rectification is coming from that positive input being pulled to ground, so everything just goes positive. So I just get the positive signal, which is well, and you really need. Okay, so that's the zelloscope kick in it, and then you can see the sound. And there's the modulation. Wicked, working like a charm. Solid. 